Uh, good morning, anyone. I'm Chen Wu Huang from Tsinghua University in Beijing. And the update title of my presentation is Pulseway Velocity Measurements in Healthy and Disease Blocked Arteries in Vivo. As we know, the arterial stiffness is a predictor of various cardiovascular events. Some diseases, such as atherosclerosis and uh, aneurysms, is related to the local alterations of arterial stiffness. Therefore, measurement of the local or regional arterial stiffness might provide opportunities for the early, de early detection, diagnosis, and assessments of the cardiovascular disease. Um, currently, there are many novel techniques have been proposed for local arterial stimulus assessments, as just have been uh, fully introduced by, uh, in the excellent presentations by the Professor Decotti, such as the pulse wave, velocity image, uh, pulse wave imaging techniques and the clock tip elastographic techniques, which um, um, we are focusing on in our lab. Since higher pulse wave velocities is associated with stiff arteries, pulse wave imaging techniques is proposed for regional and local pulse wave velocity measurement. Um, clock elastography is for mapping the local deformations of the clock artery, clock plaques, and it's capable of assessing the rotulates of the clock arteries. We we previously validated clock elastographics you, um, in detection of the vulnerable plaques uh, by the magnetic resonance imaging. Vulnerable plaques uh, and the stable plaques show different patterns of the uh, strain rate distributions, and the um, maximum strain rate is found to be significant, significantly higher in the vulnerable plaques than that of the stable plaques. For additional, uh, additional details can be referred to the journal papers of this work, which has been accepted for publications in ultrasound, in medicine, and biology. Mm. However, this was um, ex uh, this was a focus on using the pulse imaging to, to measure the regional pulse wave velocities in the clotted arteries. First, ultrasound imaging is performed in longitudinal directions, longitudinal views of the clotted arteries, and then ultrasound radio, radio frequency data were acquired in high temporal resolutions. Uh, speckle checking algorithms is performed to measure the motion of the, of the arterial wall. And then a single loop can be generated for visualization of the pulse wave propagation. For quantitative pulse wave, quantitative pulse wave estimations, pulse wave forms along the arterial wall can be often, and the time delays between the pulse wave forms can also be determined. Pulse wave velocity is defined as the length of the arteries divided by the time delays. This map can also um, can also be represents, present as the spatial temporal maps. And typically, a linear regression is performed between the time delays and the arterial positions to calculate the pulse wave velocities and to reduce the measurement errors. According to the publications, different kinds of pulse wave forms can be used to estimate pulse wave velocities. Some studies calculate the pulse wave velocities using the displacement waveform of the anterior wall, as so here as the, um, as the red color curve, and uh, use the displacement waveforms of the posterior walls as so here in the blue curve. Mm. Diameter distan distension waveforms, however, are more frequently used in pulse wave estimations, which can be optimal by subtracting the, subtracting the posterior wall waveforms from the anterior wall waveforms. However, a uh, comparative performance between, between the three methods of pulse wave estimations um, is, is still unavailable. And, uh, and currently, uh, clinical data to prove the 
through the clock to pulse velocities is still limited. Therefore, the objective of this, stu this study is to investigate the comp comparative performance of the three methods in both healthy and diseased clogged arteries in vivo. And also, we will test the preliminary visibility of the clogged pulseway velocities in detecting the alterations on arterial stimulus. In this study, 26 healthy and young subjects and 48 age subjects were included. Ultrasound radio frequency data were then acquired from, the, from both the left and right clogged arteries using a sonics MDP systems and a linear transduce arrays. Um, presence or absence of the clock chip plugs were also recalled, which commonly appears near the bifurcations of the clock tricks. The optimal imaging settings were determined by, according to a previous statics on the pulse wave velocity imaging. And then, pulse wave velocities were estimated at both systolic foot and dichotic notch for each of the three methods. Here is an example of the spatial temporal maps from a, from a young subjects using the an, um, anterior wall waveforms, posterior wall waveforms, and diameter distension waveforms, respectively. Uh, the linear regressions, ex, linear regressions ex also show for pulse wave velocity estimations at dichotic notch. Um, so here, the rigid motions can be observed on the spatial temporal maps of the anterior wall and the posterior walls. How, however, the rigid motion artifacts can be readily eliminated using the distension waveforms. Coefficient of variations, which was defined as the standard deviation of the maximum divided by the average pulse rate velocities um, represents the maximum, accurate, uh, maximum precisions. The R squares is the square of correlation coefficients in the linear regressions, which also indicates the quality of the pulse rate velocity maximum. The results here indicate that the higher, prefer, higher precisions of pulse rate velocity estimations is found using the distance waveform methods than the other two, other two methods in both young, age, young subjects and age subjects. The pulse wave velocity estimation values in, in the young, age, young subjects and the age subjects were compared and so here. The diff, as, as we know, the aging will result in increased arterial stimulus. And such difference in arterial stimulus between the young and age subjects can be discriminated well by, uh, by pulse wave estimations using the distance waveform rather than the other two methods. Also, significant correlations was also found between the latitude distances and the pulse wave velocity estimations using the distance waveform methods. However, the correlations between the relative distension and the anterior wall, and the pulse wave velocity estimations using the anterior or posterior wall waveforms is not significant. Um, further, we, we, we divided the age, sub, age arteries into two groups based on the absence and pre, uh, presence of the axiological plaques. The, this, the pulse wave velocity estimations at dichotic notch using the distension waveform were, was, uh, was found to be significantly higher in the arteries with visible plugs than, than that in the plug free arteries. Um, finally, we uh, conclude the statics as follows. The pulse wave velocity estimation method using the distension wave, waveforms performs better than the other two methods at both historical and dichotic notch. And the distension pulse wave velocities correlates well with the relative distension and it's capable of detecting the arterial stimulus difference between the young and age groups. And also, increased distension pulse wave velocities at dichotic notch is found for clock arteries in the presence of uh, in the presence of plaques. 
Therefore, clock to pulse wave velocity estimations using the distance waveform X subjects in characterization of the local arterial stimulus and may be an important index in the assessment of the cardiovascular disease. And I would I'd like to thank the following foundations for the support and also thank you very much for your attention.